morning school, eyes on the front, on the front of your screen. Morning, kia ora, welcome to our first virtual assembly. Uh, today we'll hear from Mr Hargraves and our prefects. Let's face the front, let's have a good day. Kia ora e welcome to our first virtual assembly. I hope everybody's well and coping with the restrictions of the lockdown. From what I hear, you're all doing a great job learning online. Uh, the teachers have collected some data and the data shows that 90% of you are engaged with your learning, regularly submitting work and participating in the Zoom lessons, and that's great. However, it does mean that there are some of you who have some work to do. Uh, you're gonna need to catch up submit your work and do your best to keep up with the work that's required. I know it isn't easy learning online, it's much harder to get help and you can't get your questions answered as quickly, but you are going to have to do your best. The teachers have also had some challenges. They've had to learn a whole new way of teaching, delivering their lessons online. But we're getting through this challenge together and hopefully it won't be long and we can see you all back on campus and we'll be learning together here. Student acknowledgement. I want to really acknowledge the prefects and the great job they've done during the lockdown, particularly the group that have made the videos, uh, inspirational and funny videos on the YouTube channel. They've been great to see. We also want to acknowledge the 17 prefects that took part in the community project to support the elderly in Pakuranga. So they had to make uh, between 50 and 100 phone calls each to elderly people to check on the level of support they needed and then follow up with the help. And that's a great initiative and well done to those prefects. Anzac Day. Unfortunately, we missed our chance to have our school Anzac Day assembly. Now this is something Maclean's College has done every year since 1980 when the school opened. I do know many staff and students got up at 6am on the 25th of April and stood at their mailbox to acknowledge the sacrifice made by our returned servicemen and women, and I thank you for that. Now in place of an Anzac assembly, I'm going to say the ode. They shall grow not old, as we who are left grow old. Age will not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Thanks. Right, looking forward to our return to school. There are some big announcements coming in the next few days. These announcements from the Prime Minister will give us the detail about when you can come back to school. And as soon as we have that information, I'll be able to write to you to say who can come back and when and what school will look like upon your return. But until then, keep safe, keep up with your schoolwork, you're doing well. And I really look forward to seeing you back here at McLean's as soon as possible. Take care. Kia kaha, kia maia, kia mana wanui. Hi everyone, as you've heard, the prefects have been working hard since the lockdown, making some light-hearted videos to entertain and help you during this time. These can be found right here on our channel, and the next video comes out later today, so make sure to check that out. On that note, do you want $100? Of course you do, so lucky for you, we're starting an isolation video competition, so you can win just that. All you have to do is submit a video that's up to one minute long, showing us what you've been up to this lockdown. It can be basically anything, like how you've been studying, keeping fit, practicing your music, staying connected, or beating boredom. Amaze us with your talent, entertainment, or creativity, and be in to win $100 for first place, $65 for second, or $50 for third. There's even a $35 spot prize that will be drawn randomly from all the entries, so make sure to get your entry in for a chance to win. After all, if you're anything like us, you've probably spent too much on takeout already. The deadline for entries is 11.59pm on Monday the 18th of May, and you can submit them by uploading them onto Google Drive and sharing with Blake at 
16238 at The entries are limited to one per person, and you can work with friends and family if you want, but unfortunately only one person out of the group can submit that video. If you do have any questions on the rules, feel free to comment below or email us and we'll answer them ASAP. We also encourage you to enter the ISO distance competition, being run until 9am Thursday the 14th of May by College Sport. We had some great involvement in the ISO 3K competition, with 248 students involved and gaining 6th place. Let's do even better by walking, running, cycling and even rolling as many kilometres as we can. More details and instructions to submit your entries are linked in the description below. Sadly, there's no money up for grabs, but it's a great opportunity to represent the school while staying active during the lockdown. G'day everyone. First and foremost, a big thank you and well done to you all. Sometimes it can be hard to realise the extent of your impact, but in a situation like this, by staying home, we have potentially prevented hundreds, if not thousands of infections. Just think, 30 years down the track, we can tell our families that we not only lived through an epidemic, but we did our part to help the world get through it. That's something that we should be really proud of. Now I know we all miss our friends, some of us might even miss school, but the reopening of McDonald's last week has helped a lot of us get through, I'm sure. Personally, I've never been so grateful for a Big Mac combo in my entire life. So to conclude, stay strong everyone, we miss you all, and I hope to see you soon. Kia ora school. I hope that you and your families are all safe and well within these unprecedented times. I know this may not have been the start to 2020 that we all imagined. All I can say is that I'm immensely proud of all of you. Proud of how, as a school, we've been able to work as a team and support each other throughout the lockdown. Although we may not physically be with each other, we've all gone through this new experience of adapting to online learning together. And this is something I'd really like to emphasize. We've all gone through this together. We've each faced our own individual challenges during this time, so it may not exactly be the best to say we're all in the same boat. Perhaps it's more fitting to say we're all in the same storm. Whether you found the storm exciting, scary, stressful, or a combination of all three, I think it's fair to say we all have something to be grateful for seeing that the storm is finally dying down. It is thanks to all of your perseverance and support, students and teachers alike, that we've made it this far. So McLean's, let's stay strong and continue through this journey together for a little bit longer. Let's not let all of our hard work go to waste. Let's let our school whānau and support for one another be the anchor which helps us through the storm. And I mean, hey, if you got through that cheesy metaphor, you can get through anything. Kia kaha, McLean's. Thank you for those messages, Prefix. And thank you, Mr. Hargraves. Uh, great messages from the Prefix there. Great opportunity to get involved in this video challenge. So as many as you as possible need to step up and get your videos in. You've got about 10 days to get those videos in, so get involved. I also want to remind you that when we return to school, whenever that may be, extracurricular activities will get back into full swing. So that's both our sporting program and our performing arts. There will be activities in some form for all of those activities. So stay fit get outside, get practicing, stick with your music, and we look forward to getting involved in those activities when we return to school as well. Have a great Friday, off to period one.